Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming back to We Live A Lot. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Trekology 1.0 and the Trekology 2.0. If you are interested in either of these sleeping pillows to add to your camping needs, I did put the link in the description below. Um, just remember this is a second video up in a series that I'm going to be doing to help determine what pillow fits best for your budget and your needs. Go ahead, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when my next videos come out. Uh, one thing you're going to notice that's different from my thumbnail is I am back in the studio. I attempted to bring this review to you on location, but unfortunately the wind decided to pick up on me a little bit, and so this is all that you would have been hearing. Welcome back to We Live A Lot. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Trekology 1.0 and Trekology 2.0. I figured I didn't want to put you through that, so here I am back at home in the studio to finish up the review of the Trekology Aloft 1.0 and 2.0. Um, so the first thing that I kind of wanted to point out was Trekology did a great job in their advertisement. The thing that drew me in when I was browsing through all the different pillows online was the fact that they compared it to lighter and smaller than a pop can. So as you can see, I have the Trekology 1.0 and 2.0 sitting alongside a pop can, and I'm going to display all of the specs on the screen for you. Um, I will say the Trekology 1.0 was coming in at about 3.3 ounces in the stuff sack. It's a little bit less once you pull it out compared to the Trekology 2.0 that comes in about a little, it's close to like 3.9 ounces. So, there is a little bit of a weight difference, but for very good reason, which I'll get into a little bit later once we get further into the review. The first thing you're going to notice when you pull your Trekology 1.0 or Trekology 2.0 out of that stuff sack is the topper that they decided to go with. It's nice and smooth. This one does not have a removable, removable cover, so it just has this polyester blend water resistant topper. Um, as you can see on both of them, it's very similar, the fabric that was used. It is nice to the touch. It's pretty soft. Um, if you put it against your skin, it doesn't have like an itchy or scratchy feel onto it, which I was pretty impressed with. I do prefer to go with a pillow that does have a removable cover. Again, I do have kids taking these for multiple days at a time. They can get a little sticky from sunscreen or bug spray. So it's nice to be able to just throw them in the wash machine and just clean them all up. I will say Trekology did a really good job um, with the fabric that they chose to use. It is water resistant, but it does spot clean really well. Um, the Trekology one is what my kids chose to use this weekend. So they did have s'mores, so it did get a little crazy on here, but I was able to just take like a spray and wash wipe, kind of scrub it up a little bit, and it came out pretty good for what I was able to do while we were on location and camping. Um, so I'm overall happy with the fabric that they chose to use. Again, it's soft, it's very comfy to lay on, um, but having that removable cover is always nice, which I definitely prefer to go with. As you'll notice on the Trekology 1.0 and 2.0, they decided to go with the air valve and they both have that button release, which is fantastic. It makes inflation easy and it makes deflation even easier. Um, the thing that I like best about this button tactic is one press and the pillow will instantly deflate. Click it again and it holds that breath of air in there. The air is not escaping due to that button release tech all technology, which is amazing. Um, overall, so far out of all the pillows I've tried, I really, really like the, the air valve with the button technology. It makes it so easy to use. Um, and when you're sleeping on the pillow, if you need to deflate it just a little bit, it's easy, just one quick press and it's done. You can get it down to that exact comfort level that you're looking for. Um, when you're looking at the baffling system in Trekology 1 and 2, they did a great job of making it so once your head is situated on the pillow and you do move from side to side, you don't get that like pop of air kind of coming up and hitting you in the face when you're turning around. So the way that they incorporated their baffling system was pretty impressive. Um, I found it comfortable when I was sleeping on my back when I was sleeping on my side. I even let a little bit of the air out and move to my stomach just to kind of see how comfortable it would be in all directions. 
Um, after a long day of backpacking, it, they did a great job of actually giving you some lumbar support in here. Um, I'll throw this in a camp chair if I'm having issues with my back in the evening. Just place it behind me like this and it does kind of give you that extra little bit of support. So for me, it doubles as making my camp chair a little more comfortable in the evenings and also my choice to go to for a pillow at nighttime. Overall, the comfort of both of these pillows are very similar. Um, I couldn't tell one being better than the other. Um, getting into the differences between Trekology 1.0 and 2.0, you're going to notice these little rubber dots on the back of the Trekology 2.0. And this was a fantastic addition. I found, because it does give you that little bit of friction. So if you are using your Trekology 2.0 on a sleeping pad, a lot of times your pad is gonna be moving all around. You'll wake up in the morning and your pillow is gonna be on the ground. So just giving that little bit of extra friction helps secure that to your pad. And Trekology decided to take it one step further to make sure that you're getting a good night's sleep while using the Trekology 2.0. They included this secure latch elastic band strap. Um, it is removable, so if you feel like you don't need to have this latch on your pillow, you can go ahead and take it off. Um, but I found it's very convenient. So what I like to do is when using this one, Typically what I would do, starting out with the Trekology 1.0, is you'll notice it's, it's very smooth, it is kind of slippery, so it doesn't stay on your pad very well. Um, so I would just throw one of my t-shirts over it just to give myself a little bit of extra friction and comfort. Um, but with the upgrades in the Trekology 2.0, you no longer need to do that. This easily attaches around to any sleeping pad. You just take this latch, stretch it, slide it over your pad, and your pillow is going to stay in place for literally all night. I've tested it over and over. It doesn't come off my pad. It's amazing. Um, I didn't really notice much difference with the, the rubber dots, so I prefer to use the latch system um, just to secure it. A good night's sleep is very important to me, so just knowing that my pad and pillow are in place puts my mind at ease and helps me get a good night rest. Um, when it comes to the price point of the Trekology 1.0 and Trekology 2.0, they're very similar within a couple dollars, I believe. I'll go ahead and include that price right here and right here. So it just kind of depends what's most important to you. Are you looking for a good night's sleep? Are you more worried about ounces? It just depends what exactly you're looking for. I would have to go with the Trekology 2.0. It's worth the extra buck or two that Amazon is selling this pillow for just to get that security of having the pillow strapped down to your sleeping pad, knowing it's gonna be there when you wake up and you're not gonna wind up you know, with your head on the floor. Uh, but overall, for myself, for comfort, convenience, and affordability, Trekology 2.0 is the way to go for me. Um, again, the link is in the description if you wanted to check these out. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching me review the Trekology 1.0 and 2.0. Please remember to like, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching. Remember, why live a little when you can live a lot?